It's a little overcast today with a threat of thunderstorms. Today, I am going on a walkabout of Sun Yat-sen University, uh, or Zhongshan Dashui. I'm at the South Campus today. There's actually five campuses in Guangdong. Uh, this is uh, one of the smaller ones, but it's the oldest one. It's the original, and it's been consolidated. It's been named different names over the years. This campus is right in the heart of Guangzhou, uh, just over the river from Tianhe and Zhujiang, Newtown. It's actually connected to the river. You can take a, sh a ferry across the bay uh, to the other side of town. But it's about one and a half square kilometers uh, here on the south campus. And security is tight. I mean, man, let me tell you, they check every car and every person coming in here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's Mel Gibson's Gallipoli. It's the movie of the month. This is the foreign languages school where uh, if I were to come work at this university, this would be the building that I would be working in. They have about 50,000 students total throughout the whole university system. It's also one of the largest hospital, affiliated hospital systems in China. For Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, it's pretty quiet. I mean, there's not very many people out and about. Um, I'm in the residential area, a lot of the dorms and things like that in this part of the campus. I'm in one of the oldest parts of the university right now. Beautiful old buildings, still in use. However, it being springtime, <laughs> and very high humidity. There's an awful lot of mosquitoes about. I guess that's one downfall. I just, I got some mosquito repellent on, but you can see them, they're flying everywhere. So if you come here, make sure you bring mosquito repellent. But this part, this little quad area is absolutely gorgeous. Behind me is one of the old administration buildings. And if I do a 180 degree turn, you've got this beautiful quad that goes all the way to the river and you've got these incredible faculty mansions that line the sides I mean they're fantastically beautiful I don't know that they have different signs on them as far as what their use is there's teacher development one thing though look at this now in most universities you'll see something like this where people are lying out reading playing you know flag football or or whatever but there's nobody on the grass. I mean, it's beautifully kept. I don't see any signs that say, hey, stay off the grass, but nobody is walking off the pathways. So I want to go over here. In order to get to this building, I got to walk across this lawn. Am I allowed to do it? There's security everywhere, and I'm afraid they're going to like blow a whistle at me if I try and do it. I'm over near the law school area, and any law school is one of the nicest buildings on the campus, and that's right over there. But in this little plaza, they've got some pretty epic looking statues of some of the um, intellectual greats. Now, there's no uh, names next to any of these statues. I don't know who they are. There's not even, they're not even in Chinese, but some of them are pretty amazing. This guy's got a cape flapping in the wind like a superhero. Well, there he is. That's Dr. Sun Yat-sen. And I, as you know, I live in Zhongshan, which is the city that's named after this guy. It's where his house is and everything. He's considered the father of modern day China, almost like the George Washington of modern day China. Now, I've actually been to his house uh, in Zhongshan. It's 
It's uh, in an old village that's beautifully maintained and restored, almost like a national monument, national park here in China, and it's free to go. I'll put the link down below of that video because if you're ever in Zhongshan, it's worth a visit. It really is a great uh, historical journey. Bicycles are everywhere. The only cars I see are belong to the faculty, um, especially with these yellow bikes. Those are rent by the hour bikes. You just scan a QR code and it's like one RMB for an hour. And they're everywhere. You can ride them all over campus. If you go off to off the main drag, some, some of these side streets, you come across these beautiful old dormitories. Uh, historic buildings really and it's peaceful and quiet there's birds chirping research center for coastal ocean science and technology Guangdong provincial key laboratory of marine resources and coastal engineering quite a mouthful uh, business graduate school I mean just look how lush and green these gardens are Imagine studying in a place like this. Behind me is the University Hotel, and they say this is one of the nicest University Hotels in all of China. I would have to stay here sometime, check it out. But it is right across the way from the south entrance excuse me, the north entrance of the south campus and the river. And just on the other side of the river, can't really see it because of the storm that's coming in, is Zhujiang Newtown. And all a very impressive looking campus. I only scratched the surface of what I could see. Uh, I was here for, you know, just a couple hours walking around and there's so much more to see. Um, more buildings, more history. But uh, I only have a limited amount of time today to do this. But. A gorgeous campus, uh, very serene, very peaceful. I can see it would be a wonderful place to work or study. Uh, and now I gotta try and find my way across the river. There's a ferry terminal over here. Maybe I can hop on a ferry to get across to go grab some dinner. These are the ferry docks. They're gonna pick me up here and they're gonna take me across to Yuan. Not bad.